Curing food allergies shortly. Good evening and welcome to 60 Minutes. It's hard to believe, but last Thursday, Michael Jackson would have turned 55. Alive, the man known as the King of Pop had an extraordinary career, but he was also the King of Controversy. Tonight, his mother, Catherine Jackson, takes us inside the family compound, where she breaks her silence on the scandals that dogged her son. Her granddaughters attempted suicide and now new allegations of child molestation. It is a heartfelt and at times difficult conversation with a mother who is still coming to terms with the loss of her son. That was the worst day of my life. Never had that feeling before. And I never want to feel like that again. Had you never feared this day would come? Never, never thought this day would come. How has it changed your life? Well, I have three children. <laughs> more. You have three, three, three more children. children. Three more children to raise. <laughs> Catherine Jackson's life changed the day her son died. She now takes care of Michael's children, Prince, Paris, and Blanket. At 83, it is the last thing she expected to be doing. At your wonderful age, yes. do you feel okay to be a mother again? Yes, yes. Um, today it's a little more difficult than it was in the day I raised my kids because they're a little more harder because the world changed a lot. But it's not hard but it's fine. But what's not fine is that since her son's death, she's had to deal with plenty of controversy. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter. He sexually abused me from seven years old until 14. Michael's passing have caused problems in in a lot of ways. What kind of child was he? What little kind of little boy was he? Michael, when he was young, he had a lot of energy, always moving around, never could sit still. Of the Jacksons' ten children, Michael was the eighth. And according to his mum, her son's first steps were more a dance than a walk. I noticed you said that he used to dance to the sound of the washing machine. Yeah, well, that's when he was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Truly? The rhythm of the washing machine, because it was a rickety old washing machine and made those rickety moves. Uh, sounds and he started dancing to that. Before long, Michael was a pivotal part of the Jackson Five. I told them then, it's just a job, you're working, it's like everybody else. Don't let your head get too big. <laughs> There's no room in this house for a big head. <laughs> that would have been a lot of big heads. Wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> But it was Michael who would become the family's star, winning 13 Grammys and producing the biggest selling album of all time. Did you also see at that early stage what the attention might do to a young, impressionable boy like Michael? No, it's I didn't, I isn't didn't it? worry about that though, about because Michael was a humble person. And that didn't even change him. Even till the day he died, he was still humble. And he knew he was a big star. Sir, I need, to, I, uh, I need an ambulance as soon as possible, sir. The world was reminded of just how big a star he was 
on June 25th, 2009. We have a, a gentleman here that needs help and he's not breathing yet. The day 50-year-old Michael Jackson died. Yes, but he's not responding to anything, so no, no. On the day Michael died, where, where were you? I came home and uh, their father called me and he said, Cat, you have to come down to the hospital. I went down and nobody would say anything. Everybody was waiting for somebody else to tell me. And I saw Dr. Murray pacing, but I didn't know who he was. And I said, well, where's Michael? I want to go to his room. I want to go and visit him, you know. Nobody said anything. And then finally, in about 10 or 15 minutes later, they took me to a room and nobody would say anything. So finally, I said, well, did he make it? And I was screaming, like, did he make it? And Frank finally said slowly, no, he didn't make it. I don't know what happened after that. I guess I must have blacked out or screamed or something, but that's what happened. For Michael Jackson's children, the news was unbelievable. They went back in that morgue where Michael was about 10 times when I was in that room. I couldn't, I couldn't go. And so when Latoya came, she kept going back there too. I said, what are you all doing back there? She said, the children are hugging Michael and kissing him. And, you know, he was dead, but they were still doing that. You didn't want to see Michael? Not, not that way, no. I wanted to remember him when he was smiling and when he was alive. And you have no regrets about that? No, I don't. No, I don't. Um, how many grandchildren do you have? I have 26 grandchildren, 11 great-grandchildren. Wow. Catherine is now the custodian of the Jackson family. This is a lovely shot. Mm -hmm. That's a shot of Blanket in Paris. Where does Blanket get his name from? When they brought him home, he was wrapped in a blanket, and the kids were saying, I remember, thank you, Daddy, for giving us a little brother. And he was wrapped in a blanket, and they started calling him Blanket. <laughs> and she works hard at keeping the family grounded. For Michael's children, that's meant no more disguises. Did you worry at all that, that, that when they made public appearances they were wearing masks or...? Well, I, 